So the second movie I watched was called Lucky by uh, Natasha Kermani, I believe is her name. Uh, it stars Brea Grant, who was also the director of another movie at the festival that I missed, I believe, called Twelve Hour Shift. Uh, I wasn't sure on the trailer, so I I I, was, I, I didn't um, I didn't go bite. So, which, I mean, maybe it's good, I don't know, I'm gonna, I know a friend of mine watched it, so I might actually go out of my way to ask them if it was good. Um, so I watched this again with my girlfriend, her father, um, he hated it, I thought it was fine, my girlfriend liked it. Uh, it's one of those movies that's very metaphorical and very clearly has a message that it's trying to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what that message is, and it's clear that it's meant to be interpreted in different fashions. Um, I thought the message was was good. I thought the acting was, you know, the acting in the kill shots and, well, scenes, rather, and the, um, and, like, the characters were well acted. Uh, the cinematography was fine for what it was. Uh, it's, all in all, like, if you look at it from a technical standpoint, uh, it's a good film. Uh, my only real gripe with the movie uh, is that I feel as if that the only thing they were trying to do was to tell a message, uh, and which is fine. There are people who enjoy films like that. I personally, I prefer to have a bit of some kind of... There was a story, but I feel like there wasn't a real conclusion. There was a conclusion, of course. The end of the movie ends and something happens, but I feel like there's so much left unexplained as to why this is happening why certain things are going on just to give you a concept of what this movie is about um there is a girl who is played by Perry grant i don't remember her name she's a self-help author um she's she goes home after a little sort of a bad day um her husband is there and and the um at the house and she some reason they go to bed. Well, not for some reason they go to bed. They go to bed for some reason. There's a man that breaks in, and um, apparently he does, and he and he starts appearing over and over every night to try and kill her, um, and that's really the concept of the movie. Uh, on paper, that sounds pretty cool. It sounds interesting. Um, I felt that the killer gave off some sorts of uh, what would I say, like Halloween vibes, as in like the sense of certain points, certain parts of the movie. He's just standing outside before he tries to break in and like, especially at the beginning and it's kind of like creepy a bit, but at the end of the day, I got the message, but I was left wanting more of an explanation of why this was happening to her. I mean, I get why it was happening, but due to the message, but why it seemed a little too odd, like in terms of like, because he's almost like a supernatural being. And it's no explanation as to why he's appearing over and over. Um, apart from the message. And that, yeah, great. That this is happening because of XX reason. Uh, metaphorically. But why is this actually happening anyways? Like, it almost, it's almost as if she was in her head. Is it in her head? Is it... Like, a dream... Is this actually happening and she's been transported to some other dimension? Like, there's no real explanation for what the cause... Why it's... I, I get the cause of it, but why is... it? Does, that part doesn't make sense. Um, I would give it a 7 out of 10 regardless because of how technically it was well shot, well made. But I th that left me really wanting in the film. And not to say it's a bad movie, and some people are going definitely going to love this movie. There's people in the Discord who absolutely loved it. Um, as for me, I thought it was just okay. Uh, it was a movie that was pretty late. Uh, it was at 9.45. I worked, I worked the next day. I felt myself vaguely regretting it because of the fact that I watched a movie that I found only okay so late at night before work. So anyways... Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, for sure I'll be making more videos. Uh, yeah, bye.